understand, y'all was talking a lot of smack, boy, when we was going through our distress and our destruction. But he said, against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move this country. Against man or beast, that you may know how the Lord does put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. There's a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. The only similarities that were all melanin, but we're right. totally different people. Can I get a second? Can I ask you one, one, one question, sir? I'll let you. You don't Just want one no second. Just one second. Just one second. Just one second. On the way scared. out? They scared. They scared. They scared. I'll see you on the way out, all right? They scared. Esau is flying yeah, in Belfort bro. today. They scared. Esau is on the run. I didn't even see him run like that, man. That. I don't know what kind of water they drinking out here. But he's so on the front. It's the spirit out here, what? Bro, yeah, come on, help like, me out. You know what it is? I stop they, by. If you ask me, I'm like, yeah, what's up? Look at this white. Yo, That's yeah. how you know things are spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they, feel that, they feel that spiritual yeah, frequency that, that that's, that, that's passing through exactly. you. They, know, yeah. we, yo, he, they don't even have time to see what it is. They just walking by and feeling it. This ain't for me. No, I can't talk, I can't talk Any I black can't person talk that walk past here, they already stop and say, like, they at least stop and say, no, we got something to do. Uh, he saw it twice that you see it. The third time is going to be a charm. Uh, twice amen. he saw what uh, he walked past. Facts. Right. Okay? Facts. He didn't even stop. He don't didn't even say it. Y'all see it live. Facts. All right. That vibration, see, that's the spirit and the vibration of the Most High that He can show you through the spirit how He's identifying the wicked. You know what I'm saying? You see, our people might be off too, but you see, they stop, they hear. Esau knew that this ain't for him automatically. He said he feels God's vibration. Just power. Keep moving. Keep I gotta go. Moving. I got something keep to keep do. Moving. Whoopie doo doo. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got Esau got to go. Joel 227. Esau gotta go. But guess what? This is gonna be a cut for everybody, all you Esau lovers. It's like the brother said, we're not on a hate campaign, but we tell you what God, we, I wanna love who God loves. What's right? in the word? And I wanna hate who God hates. God what's, says, what's in the word? Jacob have I love, Esau, and Esau have I hated. So in how the are you loving Esau and, and, God, and, and being a, a so called word? Christian? How can you love Esau and, and the same God that you say you serve hates Esau? So how can you go to church tomorrow on Sunday, which is a long day anyway? How can you go to church tomorrow and testify that I just love everybody? That's our problem as Israel. That's right. what got us into trouble. We so dice out. You see who we so we call? have no backbone. Yeah, you see who so dice out. Right? Mm -hmm. Now we want to love everybody in the whole world. So what did what the Harris Harris want you to say? Love's gonna get you. Love's, Love's gonna, gonna get, get you. you. I love my car. I love my girl. Love's gonna get you. Yeah. It's gonna, gonna get, get you. you. Cause you yeah. loving everything that's what you're not supposed to love. You're supposed to love your scripture. And that's why you all messed up. Joel 2 and 7, 2, 227. 227, here we go. Joel chapter 2, 27. Read. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. The midst of Israel, these people, Judah, on down to Ishikar, the so-called Negroes down to the Mexicans, okay? The Haitians, so-called Haitians, those so-called uh, North American Indians, uh, you Hispanics, all of you natives. You, uh, the, the, God said, I'll be in the midst of Israel, these people, come on. And that I am the Lord, your power, and uh -huh. none else. He said none else. Is that a racist statement or what? Y'all send any send anything to email or, or, or likes or ups and downs, whatever. You tell me is that not a racist statement? He said I'm gonna be in the midst of Israel and none else. He ain't dealing with it. And then the brother read earlier, uh, Psalms 147 and 19. He saw his word to Jacob, the statute of commandments to Israel. He has not dealt so with any other nation. And as far as his judgment, they have not known him. Right. And then he read. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen you to be of special, a special people, people unto himself Amen. above Amen. all the people all upon nations. the face of the earth. All and the last one he just read was Malachi, which is found in Romans 9 13. Jacob have I loved, Esau have I hated. Which part are you? Which part of the Bible? What, do y'all got the same Bible we got King James or what? Yeah, why they stop? Why they stop? Come on through. Plenty of room. And what I can't understand is this one thing. Why would you want to be second? Do you want the bronze medal? When the Most High is trying to give you the gold medal, but you'll say, 
here's the gold medal for you. No, I don't want the gold medal. I want the bronze medal. The most high is saying, here, y'all take the gold medal. But you niggas want to say, no, we don't deserve the gold hold medal. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, we can we deserve, speak to you real quick? Why you stop? Real quick. Come here. I ain't just take up time. No, 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 I'm going to ask a simple question. Stop right here. You ain't got stuff in front of the camera. Yep. Stop right here. You just want to talk. Just stop say right hi. You can say hi, though. <laughs> this is a little mic. And I want to stay so on camera. Put on camera. Yeah, real quick, just to say hi. Because we're doing a project for all our people. Oh, I don't know. We got one. You know what? That. Everybody else was front. So we got a full one up here. Ask him his question. Go ahead, bro. Give me, give me two minutes. I need one. You got this one? Yeah, I got it. All right, what you want? Listen. Man, they got <coughs> <the world. coughs> Do you know, <coughs> what color is Jesus? Every whoa, 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 what'd you say? Oh, every color. Every color, right? Every color, right? That sounds now, interesting. Now, Which we are show, they Oh, we could, you, you're welcome. Come here, come here. Come here. Don't come here. Come come here. Come come don't, come don't, 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 don't go, go over here. Okay. It's just so. Oh, okay, now listen. No, you so said he's every color, color, right? We're gonna, if I give you the description of what Jesus looked at in his Bible, are you gonna subscribe to it? Are you gonna believe it? Or are you gonna reject it? Well, let's see. Revelations 1 and 14. Let's All see right. what color Jesus looked like. All right, but let me let me jump to 1 and 1 first. Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. And 1. 1 and what we're reading is John the Revelator, who's given a description of the man that he heard the voice behind him. That's what he's going to read. Ain't going to take all day. Uh, Watch quick. this. The revelations of Jesus Christ. Hold up, before you read it. And what does revelation mean? Just to reveal. To reveal. Before we read it. Don't that look something. like the guy? Good. If I was to show you walk this round, it'd be like, oh, that's Jesus. You know that, yeah, right? Black. Cole, stop you hear the sister? Oh, that's good. I'm on, I'm on, I'm, I'm you black man. You hear the sister? What you say? Yeah. Black man. All right, then. So we got a witness. Black man. Black man. Okay. All right, let's get back Ooh. on it. Right. Revelation of Jesus Christ. Get your out this car. Get your out this car. Yeah. Go ahead, ready? The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him to show unto his servants Amen. Amen. things which must shortly come to pass. And he sit and signify it by his angel unto his servant John. The reason why we jump up to that one first, because we wanted to give you an understanding what was the vision, what did John, this is John the Revelator, not John the Baptist. Because it's, you know, there's many Johns. You got to know which one is talking about in that context. Okay, so that's John the Revelator. Okay, now you got to understand that what John, John of Revelator, what he was saying, right? Okay, that he got a vision. He was laying down and a vision came to him about the description of who? How a description means, I give him the description to you when the cops come, right? He, was, he had blind hair, eyes, he had some checkered short. I got a, I know what, how you look like. So what John of Revelator know what you look like? Okay, that's it. Now, here's the point. You ready? And in the midst, this is 13, and in the midst of the seven candlestick, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with garment, down to the foot, and girt about the paps with the golden girt. Okay, so this Jesus Christ had a garment from his head down to his foot, similar to my brother's hair. His head and his hair were white like wool. Strike one, because if I had a warrant on this person, excuse me, you might want to hear this real quick. If I had a warrant on this description that John's given on this person, you know how detectives do, you got to get a description of what the person looked like before you go arrest them. Say I'm going to arrest him. Now read, I need a description on the person I'm going to arrest, right? A, a full photographic, Amen. right? Amen. Read that again, his head was what? His head and his hair were white like wool. That's strike one on this picture here, right? You guys don't have woolly hair. The only texture of people that have that texture are the Latinos, Negro, and Indian people. Strike one, we're gonna play baseball, read. As white as snow. White as snow, he had a full gray hair because it's Israelites and people were stressing about it early age. He only lived in 33, 34, come on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The reason why his eyes were a flame of fire because it was a custom of the Jews to drink. Remember that, drinking is not a sin. It was a custom to drink, but we couldn't go in the sanctuary with wine under that influence. And also, when you drink, the Bible says, drink modest. Right. Don't drink when you're throwing up, cursing, bugging out, ready to fight. So his eyes were red with wine because he ate a lot of food and he drank a lot of wine. Matter of fact, y'all know the first miracle he created. Remember when Mary ran out of wine? 
at the wedding? Mm -hmm. Who turned the water? Who turned the water? Who turned the water into wine? Jesus Christ, God was shy, right? Amen. So if it was a sin, why would a man without sin bring forth sin? It only makes sense. Read. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, and his eyes was a flame of fire, and his feet like a to fine brass. Whoa, let me see. Brass would be this right here. A derivative color of brown. Brass, right? That's his feet. Right? Let's see if it gets darker than that, because that's strike two on this person already. Yeah, he almost me, struck out. Let me just say something real quick. That you said this is grass, but I'm I'm not I'm gonna disagree with you on this one, brother. Okay. That that means that's not a good enough because that's like a grass is could be somebody in the sun team. Oh, that's true. A lot of people do say it could be somebody so in the sun team. No, not yet. Okay. He's right. It could be somebody that's that's from Sudan. Yeah. Or, or that just I'm got a, a, a tan in, in a tanning salon. That's not enough evidence. We're gonna give some more evidence. Watch okay. This. And his feet like a to fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burnt in a furnace. As oh. they what? As they burnt in a furnace. Now anything you put in the furnace, what colors will come out? Black. Black. What colors will come out? Strike three on this picture. This is not your Jesus Christ. This is not your Redeemer. Get this out of your mind. Jesus is a black man. Mary was a black oh, sister. Black, All it's the prophets in the Bible were black. Is this a thing on racism? Of course it is, because God is racist. You believe that? That's what we're here to tell y'all. I'm glad you guys are staying in your sweat all instead of running. Just stay here for one more minute because it's going to get even better. The Bible only chose, now we gave the description of Jesus, crystal clear what he looks like. That same Jesus only came to these people on the board, to 12 tribes of Israel. Can you understand that? And we've been pulling that out of scriptures. This ain't something that Amen. Amen. appeases Amen. to our emotions. We're speaking Amen. out of scripture. This ain't rhetoric. We didn't write this now, down and put it in the Bible. Are you guys in the Bible? The word. In the word. Are you guys in the Bible? Yes, you are. You're in the Bible. You're under the biblical name of Esau. It's your biblical name. You're not white. That truck right there is white. I don't see nobody walking around looking like Michael Myers. Right? You don't. You guys are reddish. So yes, everybody's recorded in the Bible, but guess what? The chosen, the chosen people of God are these people here. Could you read this on? It says Judah, so-called Negro. Benjamin, the so-called West Indian. Levi, the Haitian. These are their bywords and proverb names, falsified names. These are their biblical names. Have you ever heard of these names in the college campus or the? Uh, uh, public schools or in any one of these churches? No, you did Not when they're associated with these people. But we do archaeological facts, we do anthropology, we do geography, places and location, we deal with chronology, time and dates and events as scholars before we come out here. So we want to make sure we can prove exactly what we say. The Bible says what? Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. So yes, you are in the Bible. Read some more. Okay, now. That was the description of the so-called who you called Jesus Christ. Now we're going to give you, we got to back the brother up, because that might be a person. Come talk, bro. If Christ only came for those people, and he's a black man, and so, was, so was his chosen people, black people. And they got the keys to the kingdom of heaven. They're up next in rulership. Because right now, your people is in rulership. Right now. And your, your, your people fucking up this place. You know what I'm saying? Now look, man, this is not me coming after you because I still deal with you with respect. You know what I'm saying? We have respect. We have a, a respectable debate. But I have to say what's in the scripture. And you notice anything this brother brung out and what we bringing out, it wasn't like nothing in the book that we're saying on our own. We brought everything from this out the book. That's fair judgment, right? All right? Whether you disagree or, you, or not, but let me hit you with this. 1524. Come on. But he answered and said, this is Jesus Christ talking. This is red. And he answered and said, I, I am not sent, but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. These people, every time he mentioned Israel, so just cut your eyes on these people, man. Because this is Israel. If you find your nationality up there, then you part it. Are you up here? All right. So he said, I am what? I am not sent, but into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Amen. That goes Amen. for you Mexicans. Amen. And Amen. you Salvadorans, y'all are on this right city. Here. Right Learn here, your man. nationality. Right Wake here. up. We here, man. We here, man. This is it. 
Amen. So Jesus Christ said, Don't run. Say to these people. Wouldn't that be racist, Don't run. sir? Wouldn't that be racist if I was to sit up here and say I'm only sent to these 12 tribes to pick Israel? There was billions and millions of other people, wasn't there? Yeah. What about the other people? But what did Jesus say? There was a lot of other people, wasn't it? But who does the picking and choosing? The outside. Jesus. I got you. Amen. If you want to escalate tomorrow morning or Mercedes Benz, are you going to wake up in the morning and go pick an escalate? No, right? Are you going to go pick an Acro or a Lexus? You want to talk about no. huh? Come on, we're going to talk, man. What? Your escalate or excuse me, your Benz. So Jesus Amen. Christ does the pick and choosing. Now, he created a lot of people, but he picked these people here. These 12 tribes of Israel. He, Amen. He, regardless of how they went off in the Bible, Amen. he loved them to the end. He, he, Amen. You need to know that. So next time you go in around any church and you don't hear this here, that violates Isaiah 8 20, where it says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, that is because there's no light in them. So anytime you, they're not coming where we're coming around right here, out the word, Light means they don't got Christ. They don't got Jesus. They you don't got have the devil. You, you're saying you got Jesus. But if you had Jesus, you'd be speaking this. Amen. Amen. We, this Amen. We are What's going on, brother? Know ye not that your body is the you temple of God? Second? And he that defileth the temple, I mean, him God shall destroy. So you are saying. Hey, brother. Step up. All right, but that's enough because we got to deal with our people first. Our people come first. Thank you for your time. Yeah, but the most it. important thing is speaking to my people. All right. So, yo, yo, no. yo, fam. All right. Well, you can stay there, but I can't give all attention to the heathen. I got to deal within the body. Peace, brother. Where we, where we, um, where we going over? We was telling them, um, the other nations that they're not part of the chosen priesthood. Only the part of the chosen priesthood is the nation of Israel, who Christ came for, who we ignorantly call Jesus Christ. His real name is. Yeah, Yahweh Shah Amen. in the Hebrew, you know what I'm saying? But we call him Jesus Christ because we don't know that's a misnomer name, but his real name is um, Yahweh Shah. So that's who Christ came for, for a chosen elect people. He didn't come for the whole world. Now, what kills me is that every time when me and this brother come out here and we speak the gospel, the good news, the glad tidings, the glad tidings before our people, our people always want to bring the, the, the heathens in. You know what I'm saying? Now, no offense, I already told him who he is in the end, you know what I'm saying? I got to speak according to what the words say, whether they like it or not. Yeah. Now, when I tell our people, you are the chosen priesthood, you know, above all other nations, and the rest of the nations is going to slavery, they be like, that's not right. God loves everybody. Not knowing and realizing is that God is letting you know in Psalm 83 that we have enemies. God. And also, that I call that the United Nations in the making scripture. When you read Psalms 83, think about, imagine the United Nations, how all the different countries was coming together, right? Yeah. In one accord. But do you notice, we don't have no people, none of our people in the United Nations. Psalms 83 gives a clear identity of how the nations is coming together with one consent to destroy our people. Brother, you should listen to this too. This is a good word. It ain't gonna, it ain't gonna sting you too all day. We you, you know what I'm saying? Talk to us, bro. All right, so like I was telling him, telling your, your, your brother over here that this is about a calling. This is a calling, a klestos. It's a word to call in, call out. When we're calling our people, which is you, the nation of Israel, back to your heritage, back to your fold, back to your reality, back to your plug -in. That's right, brother. That's Israelites. All day and every day. And you an Israelite too. So what we try to do is call our people, come back to your nationality, and we're telling you that, okay, you see the white man, you can respect him if you got to work with him, but know at the end of the day, that's your enemy. Amen. He is the devil. Whatever, whatever that word is about, whatever that word is and, about, and, if you would, and I'm going to tell you like this, look, if you, if you try Amen. to hold that up, Amen. All right, all right. Two seconds, well, let me finish what I'm Amen. saying. You got something to say? Can I say something? Yeah, you can say something, but let me just finish this one thing. With this right there, Definitely it's talk. not a hate campaign, it's a God campaign for our people. Now go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Right, what you got to say, bring me, go to show me. We know this shit now. Right. It's in the word. It's in the word. Everybody know. It's in the word. Everybody know. Yeah. All right, so you know that. As a black man, I know that. Okay, so you know that. So what's the problem? I ain't got no problem. I love y'all. No, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm supposed to do. I love my brothers. Love you too, brother. You know what I mean? After slavery, we ain't got to talk about nothing. We ain't got to talk about a motherfucking thing. Yeah, I think we do. Sit here. 
What about? Because so, I look, I, I look, look me at the tell you. All right, what happened? All right, let me tell you. I'm with my brothers. Go ahead. You want to take it? Right. You do have a lot to talk about. Because the simple fact is, we have a lot of division going amongst us. A lot of us just keep walking past each other and going about come our daily Come over here and talk, man. What we're trying to do is the same thing the Most High and Jesus Christ and Howard Shai was doing, trying to build a nation back up. By me ignoring you and you ignoring me, and I'm going about my merry way, it's not building a nation. I'm trying to build a nation back up to letting you know your real identity, your true nationality, which is not an African American, which is not a Puerto Rican, so which I'm is not, not a Dominican. Right. Africa. Which is not none of these five words of problem. Who's your father? What's your, what's your father's nationality? What's your father? What's your father's nationality? Yeah, what's your father then? Like, where's he from? That's what. That's how we identify usually we go through the father. Who was so, he? Hispanic? Black? White? Polak and half. Okay, what was, what was he? He was slave in this country. He was a slave? One the other. Yeah. So he was a so-called African no, no, American? No, 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 no. That's where it comes from. From Not here? Ill. I am also a European, Polak, African, American Indian, most of it, American Indian. Let me say so we got something next to it. And I have love for everything. Because when they look at me, you know what they look at? I'm a nigga. Yes. That's how they look at it. Okay, so I understand I, that, but you just came up here and you just said that you was for the um you was for the organization. But yet and still you tell me something else now, like you okay. backtracking what you just first stated. You just when you first came up here you said, yo, I know the slave trade, I want my brother, you gave us a pound in love, but now it's bringing so me back love. to make me think that you don't understand what you just said. Because you can't be everything. I did tell you this past me. I've been all right. I, I done did everything I had to do. What y'all talking about? Right. It's a beautiful thing. Teach it to them. Right. Teach them. Right. I've read so many books. I used to snow. Oh, so all that you don't need I've to, read, you, I've been all through so that. So you don't need to be learned anything. You know everything is what you're saying. I don't know everything. Okay. But what I know. So what's a little bit I'm more knowledge? I love. I love all right, it. All right. All right. Cool. That's all I'm saying. Cool. 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 Tell me something about. Tell me something. Can I ask you? Can I get a word? Can I get a word? That's what I'm doing. Can I get a word? Before you go, can I get a word? Yeah. Okay. Tell me something about ISIS. You said you read the book. Who's yeah. ISIS? That never great. I think that's smart. Well, let me refresh in your memory. Right. Well, let me Wait. let me refresh in your memory. Know you know about ISIS. You, you want me to refresh in your I, I can just save it. It's up to you. I Come won't on. touch on it then. What right. you want me to read? I'll read it. No, you know what? No, what? Forget that. God damn it. Wait, hold on. Let me say something. I don't know about ISIS. Okay. I want to know about ISIS. Okay. okay. I want to know. Teach me. No, I can't Holla. remember that shit. Huh? I can't Teach me. That. Tell Ready? me about ISIS. Ready? Ready? But I got the books. I got uh, all that shit. But I still want to know for me. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Good. Yo. You want to give me books? I can buy a book. I buy a book. I do what I do. I'm my personal icon. Yo, respect you. Be our people. I want to know about life. Oh, you know about ISIS. You know about ISIS. After I'm done telling you about ISIS, you're not going to want to know about ISIS. But did you ask me to take a picture of me? You're not on my picture. No. So you got to ask permission to take a picture. No. Whatever you, what are you doing right here? No, no, no. But you was being sneaky. And that's part of your personality. I love You was being crafty. You know what I'm saying? You gotta ask me ain't to take a picture of you. you no, because what do you, what do you, you're not in front of here, you ain't in front of me. You didn't, you didn't want to be on this camera, but you taking a picture of me. You've been videoing me over here. That's crafty. That goes exactly what your spirit is, being crafty. You just said that you didn't want to be in a video, you walked past me, but you, you want to record me. What you want to record another man for? Why are you recording me? You're not going to watch the video. No, because I caught you. So, I caught you. Red hand. Don't be caught, bro. I mean, girl, you are my brother, but you straight on. Yeah, the word for green thing because technically, we saw our brother that one time. You know what I'm saying? You're the wicked brother. 
You know what I'm saying? Hate is hate. Love, love, love. Yeah. Is white, black, Chinese. Yeah, that's all. That's right. So if you win us, do you feel sorry for what you've done to our people? For what your ancestors did to our people? I wasn't there, but I came. All right. So, but you wasn't there. But let me ask you this: You were not there. I agree to that. But your family and your heritage, your heritage, no, you see, your heritage and your family is today. We the first is a joint of that labor. I know. Y'all doing the footage of the ladies from so so my ancestors picking your people up. Ain't never been in Long Island. Picking your people and being slaves for life. Never been seen And that's how America, so for Europeans, got rich. Because oh, so they got a slave got a So once again, right. I'm going to ask you, even though you weren't there, and I wasn't there, but I'm still in oppression, but your people looking all right. It's not all right. We can't take it all down. Trump's got hella I said that. Got what do you so what do you think about you what you're doing? Okay, now even to this day, our people been so deep down, so bad. That you know the worst thing is the physical abuse or mental abuse. Let me ask you that. Which is worse, physical abuse or mental abuse? Okay, now let me show you the truth on that. See, you you social you know, far you're honest. Mental abuse can last for a decade because if I have a child and I'm mentally abused and I'm mis mentally I'm going to raise that child the same way that I'm thinking. So now for generations, if you mentally broken down, that's going to travel to your kid. Your kid's going to um, teach that to their kid because they're mentally ill. It's not a one thing condition. It lasts. Somebody has to break the cycle. So what I'm doing right now is we're breaking the cycle with these scriptures to our people. So I'm asking you again. Now, that mentally illness is affecting our people. That's why they're out here being... Um, wicked. That's why they out here getting it. Um, they don't have chances, and they think that what they see is what it is. But you got to get paid back for what you've done. See, when you get a punishment, you can't just say, "Okay, that's over with," and that's it. Everybody has to go back to what they paid for what they've done, and that's how that's justice. If I murdered your family and I didn't get caught for 20 years and they just caught me this um, this year, wouldn't you be happy? Wouldn't you say that's justice? No, 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 no. Answer the ladies. If I murdered your parents and I didn't get caught for 30 years, the cops are going And you, you, you hurt and mourning for your mother and your father, the death of them. And 20 years, they never found it. 20, the 25th year, they found you got your, the people that murdered your father and your mother. Would you want justice? Wouldn't you be happy? All right, so that has to come back to you personally. That's what you, that's your future. I'm sorry to say it like that, you know what I'm saying, but I gotta speak with both of You know, some people don't like it, which is the truth. That's your future. You have to pay a penalty, even though you might have a sorry, sorry heart, what happened to our people, but you have to pay for that. Somebody has to pay for that. That's it. Isaiah 14 and 1, we're gonna show you how you gotta pay for that. The scripture says, not the brother's mind. He is a servant of the most high. He's just telling you what the scripture, we're just mailing. The scripture says that y'all will get ready to go into slavery. You need to hear this before you read. Isaiah 14 and 1. This is a prophecy that hasn't been fulfilled yet. I can't wait till it gets fulfilled. All of them, all of them is going. All of them is going. Now let him read that first. I got one for you. You got one for me? I got one for you. I, got one. I definitely got one for you. Isaiah 14 and 1. Read. Amen. Amen. Can you hear this for a second? All right, you next, brother. Can you just hear this for a second? We're not Jehovah's Witness. We don't want money. We, we, ain't, we ain't asking for nobody on Sephora Loco. We ain't no shit. <laughs> Isaiah 14 and 1. We're the Israelites. We're coming hard. Y'all know us. For the, for the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. Right. Who's Jacob? Once again, this is like school. Once again, the brothers, the sign the brother's soul, and that's Jacob. You understand, right? Twelve tribes of Israel. Amen. And I will Amen. yet choose Israel. He's gonna choose these people. Come on. And set them in their own land. We ain't been set in our own land yet because we over here, last hired, first fired, getting shot and killed by Esau, your people, right? But he said he's gonna set us in our own own land. It didn't happen yet. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Who's the strangers? All the nations outside of the 12 tribes. Show them that sign again. I'm getting strange looks. The strangers <laughs> all the nations outside of the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. And the strangers shall be joined with them. The strangers shall be joined with the 12 tribes of Israel. Come on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. How are they cleaving right now? 
Y'all trying to walk and act like us. You're listening to our music. You want to get down with the get down, right? So y'all cleaving now, but he's going to show you how you really going to cleave. Read. And the people shall take them. These people, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, so-called Puerto Ricans, Cubans, the 12 tribes of Israel are going to take the strangers that's cleaving, come on, and bring them to their place. We're going to bring y'all to your place. Pastor, wake up and start teaching the truth. Read. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. Oh, the house of Israel is going to possess all other nations, the Chinese, the Japanese, the Afghanistans, the Pakistans, the so-called white man. Of course, he's number one off the top. You're going to possess them. Possess means ownership. Amen. 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 Read. Okay, here it is. The house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants Yo. and handmaids. Servants and handmaids is a nice way of saying Revolutionary. slave. Read. <laughs> and they shall take them captive. Captives mean you're being captives. Captives, come on. Whose captives they were. We are the all captives Amen. right now. Donald Amen. Trump, y'all ruling Amen. us Amen. now. We on Read. the seas right now. So what we gonna Read. do? Going to one, sec, one second, read. Going and they to shall rule over their oppressors. They shall rule Let's over their oppressors. Go to We're going to rule Pull over those Pull oppressors. Pull arms read. out. Let's go at it. Come on. Pull arms out. Let's read. go at it. Read. All right. And let, and let me finish this. And it shall come to pass. Hold on, hold on. What'd you say? No, don't run. Don't hold run. Hold don't run. Don't run. run. Come on, back. Don't run. Don't That's run. the mentality. Especially that man with the gray hoodie. Come on, back. Let me deal with that. Especially that man with the gray hoodie. It ain't no gun. Hold up. Like, all y'all going into slavery, y'all see that, right? All right, yeah, we let them go. Let that go. Let's deal with this, because we want to deal with this. This is our brother. We're going to deal with this. We don't want y'all running nowhere. We're going to deal with everything you say. We got you. All right. Y'all going to deal with all that. 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 Y'all going to deal I'm gonna show you something. Spiritual. Listen, yeah. ain't no spiritual. Yeah, that shit. Yes, because yes, Jacob, they brought you over here on slave ships and all that shit. We ain't got no. You don't. You don't come back. Oh no 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 no. He's he's not trying to break that. I'm trying to break that. They over here trying to. Yo, Pete, come back here. Come back here and stand up like a warrior like you're doing. Come back here. All right, Pete. Come back here. Be your own back here. We're not Christians and scared of anybody in the streets. We're not Christians. We're not Christians. I know. I hear that. We're not gonna smack nothing up here. We are the Hebrew is like, yeah. we're going to hold this down. The most high calls somebody for real. Warriors against warriors. That's a fact, you know man. what I'm saying? Come it's on. all good. Now, come spiritual. On, man. They have no spiritual. Right. Right. They have no spiritual in right. them. Right. Where y'all want to go? Why we deal with spiritual with them? white man. You want me to tell you why? Because the why? white man was given the hand. He's the hand of the wicked. He, he was he was robbed and raped. Listen, everything they all right, hold on. Here. He was blessed with a sword. Did you know to the, be Give me that future prophecy. Who's supposed to be here? Give me that future prophecy when it says Who's that. Who's supposed all. to be Esau here? Esau was white man was, was um, supposed blessed to be on the earth. It was um. You know that. Give me Esau. He I'm American blessed with the sword. I'm native. Genesis 24. But how do we all come together instead of arguing against each other? I'm not arguing with y'all. I'm gonna show you spirit. I'm letting you know. I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. When we, then the black, all right, together, let me man. show you something. When y'all want to then, then, then pull guns out and do what we do, that's only we're going to fight these ones. The white man to kill you your do ass. That. You so what? Out. He was so blessed what? with the sword. Let's die. Let's he was die blessed together. with the sword. Let's die together. Together. That's why you have to oh, wait on Christ. Let's die. Kill his death. That's why you have to wait on Christ. He knows the fuck God. Come on. Now, let me show you how this is spiritual. Let me show you how this is spiritual. Oh, the real you. You said that? Oh, you sold your ass. You said he was a You came out. He said he was a man. Oh, he said he was a man. He even laughing. Only thing he was saying. He said, if he was a man, he was a man. If he was a man, he The Black Panther tried that shit. What happened to this? You know there's a God, man. Come on. They ain't saying there's a God. You know there's a God. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we about to close out. Peter heard our feelings. He said there is no God. Wow. He said there is no God. All this time, all this time. Oh, and you've you been up here about 20 man. minutes, man. So 30 oh, minutes, man. man. And you now you're going to testify who like that? that? Who say that? Who? Yeah, who say that? The you're black still Jesus still, Christ. We all still fucked yeah. up. You pull up out of here right now. Where'd you get that from? The 10 years of time you did in jail? You 
Where you drive that from? But Black you know why I drive? No. We are protected under the umbrella. We are protected under the spiritual umbrella. Peace! We are protected under the spiritual umbrella. I'm not going to let the crack You're making excuses, man. Fuck out of here. You're making excuses, brother. If there wasn't You make excuses too. I'm not making an excuse. No, I'm not here representing my most high. I'm out here making. I'm out. I'm out here representing the most high. Check, check high. out post. God came. I and know there's a God. I know there's a God. God came and got we you. And I know there's a life after this. God's Brother. talking to you right now. He's talking to us. Why you trying to say if there is a God? We're not even getting no money. I'm gonna ask this man right here. This is a free service. Can I ask you one question, brother? Do you believe that there's a higher power? Oh yeah, no problem. Thank you. Uh, and he walked past us. Give me, give me Proverbs have 14. Have a great time. Have a great time with that motherfucker. You don't believe, you don't believe, promise, you don't believe in the God? Motherfucking promise land supposed to be right here for me. Oh, right it's now. coming. It's coming. Right here for you. Right right it's coming. Right but you don't right have no faith. You don't 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 Real Thomas quick. Pete, right here for me. I don't want to get you. Pete, you're my man, yo. We got one more thing for you. Pete, 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 you don't do that. Yeah, you don't. You're not that nigga. Yeah, you don't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Let him go. I, 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 Bible said, "When the wicked flee, no let man go. Let go. My bad, no, my no, bad. you doing your thing. We appreciate my it, though. Yeah. I see you doing your see, thing too. The wicked, the the wicked flee, flee, no, no man pursues. No, 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 I know. I know. Bible said, "When the wicked flee, no man pursues. Don't run behind him. Let him go." Damn, son. Yo, let me read this for PP. Fourteen and one. Got you. We say peace. We said Pete. You put a peace sign. Yo, P! Ready? Peace and love. Yeah. Read it. Tell you. Wait, hold on. Every, oh, every God. wise God. woman. Is that proper? Yeah, there is a God, God, man. There's no God. God. That's not the Your God? A foolish man says in his heart there is no God. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> 14 and, uh, 14 and 13. He's driving around land, bro. We talking about I'm God. Mm -hmm. I, I'm God. All right, man. Your little land will break down. After, after. We got another oh, scripture. You want to go into that? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Sure. But well, anyway, P oh, just backed oh. us up. Saw 14, right? P was just sitting here on the run. He was, yo, you, he, once again, you see the people make you a believer that they understand what's going on. Yeah, it looked like the same girls came back to hear some more words. Mm -hmm. Daughters of Zion. They're also Israelites. But we ain't calling them whores and whoremongers and putting them down and stuff like other groups do. Exactly. Those are exactly. our sisters and we love right. them. They're going to be in the kingdom with us, but they got to repent and come back to the children of Israel. Oh, come to the most high, the house shot. So Proverbs 14 and one, this, I, I know y'all didn't see him, but this is for Pete. We want to we wanna get us to Pete. Wherever you at, Pete, feel this vibration of the Lord. <laughs> but you see how everybody first, when they come up here, they act like they understand, but if you really don't sit and dissect with them and give them a time to, to discern their spirit, they're going to come out to show you that they really don't understand the same right. problem. That's right. Look, other brothers coming back that was here too. Yeah, now, they know. They know. You're right. Because, first of all, you can't deal with somebody that's under the floor. And he was fully oh, under yeah, the floor. He, he was definitely he was okay. So he's not in a rational state. That's why I held my pearls back. I said, once he started going off, 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 where he just fell off the cliff, I said, well, you did it to yourself. But I'm going to read what you saying, because that goes with what just took place. And, and one more thing before you read that, he stated when he first came up there that he understood that, that this thing of ours, he understood that we was the Israelites. That's yeah. what he, that was his perception yeah. and you would have believed that, right? Yeah. And then later on, I look, that's why I say it's always discern the spirit of a man. Just because he come up straight, don't mean he really about that. Give him time. Then at the end, he showed his real stuff. He thought he was God. He said that his father's Polish. All confusion. But he really didn't believe in what he said that he believed in. Can I get a word in one second when you come out? Oh, okay. All right, Isaiah 14 and 1. The fool has said in his heart, what? there is no God. Say it again, it's for Pete. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. 
They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. And that's what Pete is. You know what I'm saying? Pete, he's a fool. Thus said the Lord. Lord. That one. He don't do good. You know what I'm saying? Because if he did good, he would have understood what we was reading. He he came up here act like he had a zeal, but he didn't understand what we was into. And at the end, it revealed that. Be patient. The scriptures dissect niggas. It dissect them very Amen. fine and Amen. break them down Amen. to the fine, to the to the lowest compound. And show Pete's ass. Pete's left up here with the skirt flying in the air. Yes, sir. That's right. Because the Lord did that, not me. I'm just a little nigga. That's right. And I've got a scripture to go with that. Proverbs 122. This is King Solomon, the black man that's speaking. How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? Mm. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge? Mm. Fools hate knowledge. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah. All right, you a church guy? What's your, so, what's your nationality? Uh, that's, okay, that's, that's, a, that's a religion. That's a religion. Oh, that's that's that. African American? Yeah. Now, you say you study the Bible? Okay, so you're good. You for Alabama? <laughs> All right, listen, bro. Two minutes. Two minutes. I know you're running. We give you two minutes. Dabba da. You want to take this one or you want me to do this? Oh, Too quick. Yeah, All right. Yeah, what's your, um, your, your nationality according to the scriptures? You said that you were African American. That is a misnomer's name. According to the. And you also said that. I'm not getting it from Alabama. My mom's straight up. I'm saying, but you said you go to church. You subscribe to this black Bible, right? You believe in the Bible, not that Quran, right? Right. You're not a Muslim? No. Good. Yeah. Now we're on board. Now, John the Baptist in the Bible baptized these people here, the children of Israel, right. but he didn't start a Baptist church. Right. So he baptized. Do you know about these people here? The 12 tribes of Israel? You know? Yeah. Just tell me one thing. I, 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 I won't stop. Okay, so let me say this thing. You said you're an African American. Right? Yeah. Amen. That's your nationality? Yeah. I'm an Indian from Africa. Do you know Africa was named by Leo Scipius Africanus during the Second Punical War? America was named by Americo Vespucci, another white woman that came over here with Columbus and the boys to kill 77 million North American Indians. You're not going to get this in church tomorrow. No, don't sister. let a woman pull you. Don't let hey, no, no, don't never let a woman pull you over from the truth. No, don't, don't do that, man. Don't no, run. no, no. Don't he let don't the woman run. pull him away. Don't yeah. run. And she didn't really have nothing to say. She should just I played read? with him. Or should I just hold it? Hold All right, I'll read that. Yeah. Read that. Finish that up. 22 real quick. All right. How long, ye simple ones, will you will ye love simplicity? Read. I'm going to start from the read. beginning. Read. Read. How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in scorning. The scorners are the delighting in scorners. How long, the Most High is saying, how long you're going to be that way? Come on, read. And fools hate knowledge. Fools can't stand knowledge. They don't want to deal with knowledge. We've seen a fool just earlier. Read. Turn you at my reproof. Turn at his reproof. That's the law, statute, and commandments. How he, his setup, his program, how be he wants it done. Come on. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. He's going to make it known. He made it known to us, and we're trying to make it known to these <laughs> people that hate knowledge. Read. Because I have called, and ye refused. He's been calling, using this Israelite to come out in the street, the highways and the byways. A lot of y'all are refusing, thinking we're standing up here, and we have nothing else to do. No, we do have plenty of things to do. We have wives, women, kids, jobs to go to, etc. Read. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarding. None of y'all is observing Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew, which is Jesus Christ. You're waiting for Sunday to run to church and give that so-called pseudo-intelligent pastor of yours all your attention and your money. Read. But ye... He came back around the corner. Pay, pay attention. He went back at the corner. Go ahead. But ye have said at naught all my counsel. You said you know, all his counsels. You're not trying to deal with his counsel. You're trying to deal with your counsel. Come on, read. And with none of my reproof. Read. I also will laugh at your calamity. Meaning if something happens to y'all or you and you end up in the hospital or you lost your job and you're feeling all sad and you don't know what to do, 
The Bible says, being that he stretched forth his hand, and yo, no man observed it, he thought it was a joke out here, he said he's going to laugh at your calamity. Read. And I will mock when your fear cometh. So when your fear comes, when all these things happen, because he said it's coming, he said he's going to mock, which means talk about it. Read. Let me add on something real quick to that. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? And that's dealing with what? That's dealing with a nigga that don't have faith. That's dealing with a nigga that's out there doing his own thing, into strange things, into jingles, strange things and philosophy, strange things is anything outside of this Bible. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's why the Lord say, I'm going to laugh at your community. What does it say to Isaiah 1? I, I believe Isaiah 1, it says the ox, the ox, give me the, um, the ox knows his tail, the ass is last year. Yeah. Isaiah, that's, I, yeah. That's the quick preset. I just paraphrase it because I want the brother to stay where he's on. But y'all get it. The ox knows his ass, the crib knows his owner, but Israel does not consider because y'all consider your nationality a strange thing. Right. Strange things that you don't understand, like an Israelite. Oh, I'm an African American. That's strange to you. That's strange, strange. Yeah. It's Isaiah, like folks said, a fool hates knowledge. Um, Isaiah chapter one. Let me see where you at. A fool hates knowledge. Three. Knowledge Isaiah, is Isaiah chapter one, verse three. Read. The ox knoweth his owner, right? And the ass, his master's crib. Now the ox is strength. He's known for his strength. He, he does the plowing, the plowing for crops. So he's a strong animal. Okay. In other words, stiff neck. Go ahead. But Israel. Now the ass. Read the ass part. The ass is start, start from the beginning. Read it to the top. I'm gonna start from the top. Isaiah chapter one verse three. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. The ass even knows his master's crib. The ass is considered a dumb animal. But he still knows his master 